mashallah, that mental illness can be only cured spiritually. And the reason that this is problematic is because it absolutely reinforces a stigma of you can only do this through iman, you can only do this through dua, through salah, and that just isn't the case. All of these things must happen, but also we must take care of ourselves in all the other ways that Allah has allowed for us to take care of ourselves, which modern medicine is part of that. People who are trained professionals to learn with a, le with a listening ear that knows how to help give you techniques and advice is part of that. Friends and family and support is part of that. When people say, I can do this all alone, alone, this is where the shaitan starts to come in and mess with them and say, you're strong enough. You can do this by yourself. You don't need them. But we do need them. And I'll give you an example of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I always start there. If the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was meant to deliver the message of Islam in a silo, then Allah would simply have just given him the message, given him the wahi, allowed for the revelation to come and for him to say, this, these are the words of the Quran. But he embedded the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a community to have Sahaba, men and women, who were going to do things sometimes that weren't the best, so that the Prophet could enjoin the good and forbid the evil, and also do things that were excellent so that he could say, good job. <laughs> like the earlier story of Salman al and Abu Darda, where he said, Salman has spoken the truth. And a sense of community of people who are going to help each other and pick each other up and be there for one another. 